Your parents did not want you to be a teacher, yet you have turned out to teach the whole world, Maggie. <laughs> yes, it's funny, isn't it? Sometimes, um, sometimes that happens when it's a natural thing, it's going to happen anyhow. I just love it. Heavens above, I, I need a hug. Oh! I think the really important thing is you've got to follow what you like. You have to learn to know what inspires you or excites you and makes you happy. And if you can pursue that and follow that, then that will take you on a journey. Surround yourself with good people because it's the people around you that will help you in life and you will also help them. So it's really important how you select your friends. It's really important how you select the people that are helping you in your dream. It's really, really important. Do it because you love doing it and don't do it for any other reason. If someone wants you to do it or you think you're gonna be famous, you know, it doesn't work. It's too damn hard. Do it because you love it and uh, things come easy, a lot easier to you. My advice is to just do it. If you're passionate about something, just go and do it. The only thing that's stopping you is you. So, how was that for your tour of Lot 14? Really fun. I'd say thanks for coming, Isabella. I had a great time too, talking to you. Thank you. How was it meeting Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple? It was pretty crazy. It was pretty surreal. Uh, I know there's, there's a video of it, um, and you just see my head kind of whip around because he, he does that every year. He meets with, you know, 10 or so students. I guess it's just the question being asked to be able to say the thing that they're passionate about, whether that's fixing cars or working with wood or telling a story or catching a ball or, you know, designing a beautiful picture. Like it could be, it could be anything at all. I still find acting really scary. I think it's probably because I'm scared of it that I love it. Have all the challenges that you have faced thus far in following your dreams been worthwhile? Absolutely, I think they've been sometimes more important than the successes. I think that they're the time you really grow a lot. You learn a lot from the failures <laughs> or the bits that don't go right. What I've learned is that you need to be exposed to a lot of things. You need to try many, many things in your life. It doesn't matter what it is, okay? One day you will try something and it will feel right. You will feel like, oh wow, I was born for this. I was born to make a difference in this. At that point in time, you have to go for it.